Hello guys, Ingemar here. Today we have an episode regarding our Expedition North, the preparation. The ones among you who followed us on Instagram know we have been now a month up towards the North Cape and of course back again. And we'd like to just show you a little bit how we prepared this whole trip. The routing took us here from Austria, from the southern part of Austria, through the Czech Republic, Germany, Denmark, from there the ferry up north to Norway and we follow the coastline inland to a couple of different spots and back down via Finland, the Baltic states, Poland, Slovakia, back to Austria and finally back here to beautiful Carinthia. Um, well a couple of days ago we've been standing in the snow now we're back to short sleeves and uh, getting a sunburn. <laughs> well let's talk about the topics that were really really important for us uh, what was your number one issue for this trip <laughs> hi guys uh, nice having you here today um, my most important thing or most important point for this whole trip was thor of course thor was with us and uh, you probably don't know he has epilepsy so he needs medication three times a day a couple of pills a handful of pills all the time so yeah we have to we had to look that we have enough medicine with us so i counted each medicine each type of medicine that we have among or a lot of medicine and something more with us some reserves of yeah. course and for sure also the his food his food, yeah. <laughs> his food, animal his food. food. He needs a special diet as well, so we had to take everything with us for the whole month, plus a little reserve again. And of course, then we came to storing it. Uh, it had to be easily accessible. I don't want to climb on the roof every day to get something down for him. So we had a weekly package and the reserves up on the roof in this aluminum box where toys probably <laughs> he smells. <laughs> he still smells the food. Uh, he's checking it, but there's nothing in there anymore. So yeah, so that was number one for you. Make taking care of Thor, of course. Yeah, and, and also having him as close as possible to us during the whole trip. Oh yeah. And during the drive. So absolutely. That's why we put the, his dog crate behind the driver's seat. That was one of the ideas to have him really, really close to us as well. To hear him, to see him, and to see what he's doing. And yeah, unfortunately, he has seizures every now and then, so we have to be aware of that and realize once it happens as well exactly yeah. so yeah the next point i think that a lot of girls now agree with me um yeah to sleep well to sleep in a warm place and yeah norway is not the best spot <laughs> during especially, october especially this time of the year yeah so we were sure we we're going to see some some snow and some uh, cold temperatures uh, below zero and uh, below, below freezing and well, so the setup with the rooftop tent with the Bush Company AX27 is actually already quite good. Uh, the mattress is really, really nice. I think you liked it as well. Yeah, it's awesome. So, so it's really good lying there, laying there. Mm -hmm. And especially I got this sleeping bag yeah. as so, well. So yeah, we had two sleeping bags with us yeah. and uh, two blankets and of course our favorite pillows. Uh, the, the, the beauty of this tent is you can leave everything up there just close it and drive off so it comes back to coming back to efficiency that's what uh, something very important for us that's why we opted for the awning as well because everything is set up really really fast as I demonstrated already in a previous video so yeah having it warm up in the tent um, how well did it work especially on the first few days it was warm enough so I just slept with my blanket but Getting closer to the North Cup, it's also got colder. Yeah, every few um, kilometers got colder. I think we started in the middle of nowhere to use the heater. Yeah, at the end of the time. First, we stepped up to the sleeping bags, plus the yeah. blanket. Plus blanket and, <laughs> and afterwards. Yeah, and then it wasn't sufficient anymore, especially after, after a long day outside uh, hiking with Thor. And then you come back and you want to have something warm to, to snuggle in. Yeah. And that's why we had our little diesel heater with us and I think that worked really worked well. really well especially with the 
timer with the remote yeah we have a remote we have a little remote with this one so we can set the temperature up from the tent we don't have to get out so that's really really that was really cool because i was already one. in the tent so and i was um working on the perfect heat with the remote while thor and me so the the guys who were still outside at the campfire enjoying us enjoying the stars <laughs> and you were heating up our tent nice next big point i think uh, having a kitchen that is easy yeah. to set up and fast to set up yeah not just for cooking but sure cooking was the most important thing during this uh, whole trip but also the morning and uh, afternoon routine so brushing the teeth and washing the face so it yeah. was awesome to have it pretty nice and easily because you can just yeah. put Go out <laughs> um, put out the shower yeah you can connect the shower as well so that helps really when you want to wash yourself that's amazing of course it got more difficult to further up north but it still works plus you have the sink there for a fast face wash in the morning if it's too cold and yeah we have 15 liters of water in the kitchen plus we have another 17 liters here on the side panel with us so we have plenty and uh, enough water with us i think it was really nice it was and enough yeah yeah we're absolutely sufficient and well in norway water is not a problem there's drinking water in every lake in every river so you can really but, re resupply but, but watch out if it's salt water yeah. <laughs> or not <laughs> so a lot of water but also a lot of salt water that's true because all of yours of course salt water and uh, yeah we also used it quite often to just brew our own coffee along the route most of the stopped, time yeah. actually that was the most cooking we did um, was coffee coffee <laughs> coffee <laughs> and chocolate cake so um, it was really nice because <laughs> you can take out the um, cooking part of the kitchen like we so have it here yeah you can just um, storage next to it or put it next to you and mm -hmm. so you can cook and you can uh, cut and wash next to the cooking space and it's not um, dangerous at all because you're uh, cooking with the gas so you have enough space yeah. that was really nice yeah and of course we stored all our stuff in the drawer system, food was on the left hand side, uh, tools on the right hand side, and up here, uh, cutlery, pots, and uh, some additional food and, and so on. Everything, everything did fit in here, it was really nice. Plus we have a fridge, of course, here on the left hand side. I think that was sufficient for the whole trip. It was, and it is a really easy access to all. So you don't need to build something new or to climb somewhere. So yeah. It's really nice having it because then you also use it. If you need a lot of time to get there, you don't use it. Totally agree. Everything has to be in its right spot and easily accessible with one or two tasks maximum. Yeah, I think that's uh, about our equipment we use, right? Of course, yeah. on the other side, we have additional fuel just in case. Uh, infrastructure up in Norway is good. You're not running out of fuel up there. So for this trip, it was more like just a reinsurance for us, nothing else. Yeah. yeah, and to light up our campfire. Yeah, every now and then. If you, <laughs> if, if you don't have uh, dry wood, well, you have to help a little bit with some diesel, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but that happen didn't happen too often. Because we also used the, the box for, for Thor's food at the end to store some dry wood. So we could at least get the fire started. And also yeah. this wood you can buy at every gas station. Every gas station so up in Norway, it's that's easy. True. Yeah, super easy to, 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 to get some uh, supplies. Well, I think one, one really important thing before our trip was the regulation up there regarding free camping, regarding mm -hmm. parking somewhere. Um, the, the law in whole Scandinavia and also in the Baltic states is basically that you are allowed to stop and camp and overnight everywhere. Even on private property for the first night. On the second night you have to ask the owner officially, but of yeah. course, common courtesy common sense you don't do that if there's so much space around you just pick your own spot and we found amazing spots along the we did really camping right at the lake uh, next but to the fjord we have to say that we were looking for special places to sleep so of course. 
it was not that space next to the street or um, somewhere. Which is sometimes difficult because, yeah. well, you have the fjord, then yeah. you have the road, and then you have the mountain going basically up vertical. So there's not a lot of space in some of the fjords. So it, it was tricky every now and then. And, and, and the very good hint, I think, is look for, for the old positions from the military, from the Second World War up there, because there's plenty of them and they're always in the best spots. You can definitely camp there. And yeah. a lot of Norwegians do, because you can see there's, uh, there's, there's fireplaces <laughs> all over the, That's all over true. the area. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Anything you want to add? Anything I didn't, didn't uh, cover right now? If you are um, traveling with a dog, please look what you need for the dog to enter into a country. Absolutely. Yeah. That's one, the most important thing because yeah. we didn't have to show our passports and also not his passport, but maybe you get controlled. Yeah. So make sure, make the sure that you have in everything there. what yeah. it needs yeah. to enter into the country. True. Norway is not the European Union, so there are some different regulations to Austria. Plus check the ferries, the longer ferries, they have special regulations for the dog as well. So either it has to stay in the car or, or he has to be in a crate or you can buy a cabin. Buy a cabin like so you can did. take with him like we did for talk. <laughs> well, he is so spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah. But um, I think that sums our uh, preparation pretty much, pretty yeah. much up. And uh, the next episode will cover the trip itself. Uh, we were at amazing spots. We had amazing roads, amazing locations where we did uh, overnight. And I think you can look forward to that. Again, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. And one more thing, I will also put in the video description below all the weights for our setup what we had and our total weight at the end. I think you're really interested in that as well. See you next time. See ya. Thank you. <laughs>